The left side is Alienware. The right side is the uh, DLG. Both TM panels. Apparently both 8-bit. Uh, I've set the uh, the contrast all both of them the same and the brightness the same about 75 75 but in my eyes but I don't know how well it translate here on this video but I think we got richer colors on the actual LG panel I think they're slightly more vibrant that's how it looks to me in my eyes so I don't know hmm don't know whether you can make that out I have to go really far back here, man. The actual... I hold it still as possible. I don't know if you can tell. Okay, let me just do something different. Let me just pause it. It might not be visually apparent straight away. Let me just get something else up. Wait one second. Let's get Twitch up. I don't know if you can see that. And look, if you look at the top, the colors are more richer on this side here, on the, on the right side. If you look at here, and then you look on this side, you can see the colours are a bit more richer on the uh, the LG on the right. Both good monitors. They're both amazing, to be honest with you. If I was to choose one, I really won't know what to choose. The LG has got the ultra low motion blur mode, which is freaking amazing. Uh, works at 240 hertz. But the response time is not as quick as quick as the uh, the Alienware. Alienware is just really good response time, but the colors are not as good. But if you put ultra low motion blur mode on, then the response time becomes as good or if not better on the LG. However, you want to use the ultra low mo motion blur mode for that response time. Uh, th that's another thing. But out of the box, just playing it without anything, ultra low motion blur, anything on the LG is probably quicker. But the colors are a little bit more washed out. These are more richer colors there. I can see straight. I'm pretty sure you can see it on the camera now. Right, let's have a look at that. Wait, it doesn't really translate too good on the uh, hmm. yeah, it doesn't translate too good. So let me just get something else up. I've got to pause the video a sec, right? Back again. I don't know if you can see that the colors. One sec. Right, yeah, sorry about that. So the colours on there and the colours on the LG. Like if you look on this guy's face there, you, I don't know if you can see it there. The colours to me seem better. Wait a second, I can't need to get an angle. Then the... See, it's really hard to actually show this on camera. I don't know if it even picks it up. But to my eyes, it's definitely is better on the LG. Um, yeah, woo! It's all good, no matter what you pick, it's all good. Oh, would I pick this one? How would I pick the Tasty Alienware? Or the sexy, bit more fat borders, fat borders, or the thin, 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 thin. Which one, which one, which one, which one should I pick? Which one would you pick? Do you want a bigger screen? Hmm. At close, you'll have to have, you can't really have it at a good viewing distance, so you need it more uh, further away because of the, the bigger pixels. Whereas on the LG, you can have it, sorry, on the Alien, where you can have it closer to you, and then you can, you're taking more when you're playing. If you're playing games on this, you're probably taking more because it's a smaller screen and you can have it closer to you. Whereas the, the LG, as beautiful as it is, you're probably going to have to have it further away from your back here so you can um, enjoy the colours. Sorry, enjoy the uh, the distance. The, the, the pixels are bigger, so you'll have to have it a bit more further back. So that also, it looks a bit more blurrier. A little bit more blurry on the LG because of the pixels are a bit more blown up and it's a bigger screen. Where it's on there, it's a bit more crisper. So they've both got their good points and they've both got their bad points. And that's why I had to just keep both of them. I know it's a bit retarded, but I did. Um, but on the on the Alienware, it's got this mode, right? I don't know if you can see it. If you look at the picture, I'll try to hold it still as a camera. So you've got this mode called 
black stabilizer. When I click it on, it adds some slight artifacts, but in games you're not going to notice them, but it makes everything clearer. Right, that makes everything sharper. I don't know if it translates, like I said on, on screen, but if you, wait a minute, please, here we go, that's a bit better. So if I put that on, don't put it on, no, it's gone off, bloody hell. So here we go, I'll try again. You see the difference? It makes things clearer as well, like if you look at this guy's face or this, it makes things stand out. More detail, you know it's more detail. Just by that mode, and that's called that's a black stabilizer mode. This doesn't quite have that, but the actual default sharpness on this one at LG goes higher, more clearer. Actually, looks clearer and better. Look at this, check this out. All right, look at the quality. Oh, it's really hard to show on here. Now, you can't notice it, but this actually looks better with um, just by standard sharpness mode whereas on the alienware when you put that one millis when you put the uh, the black stabilizer on just level one it makes everything as sharp it's really weird how it works it makes everything as sharp as this screen if not sharper and even though that's got 100 percent sharp put that back on even though the alienware's got 100 percent sharpness on and that's got 100% sharpness on. Let me just check it quickly. Hold on. There's the menus. The menus are so much better to use on here as well. It's so nice. Like, see the, the actual blur reduction modes off at the moment. I'll put that on as well. So if I go to picture and the sharpness, it's 100% there. You see 100%. And on the Alienware, it's hard doing. I need a proper camera, man. It's awkward to do this without a camera. So. So if I go into, the menu's a bit harder to get into the sharpness on it. You have to just fiddle around and go through a lot more things just to get to where you want to go. 75, 75. So where's the sharpness? God. It's on display. Yeah, here it is, 100% there. So that's on 100% as well. Once you put the black stabilizer mode on that, on the Alienware, it looks as sharp, if not sharper than the um, LG but it does make the blacks a bit more greyer because it, it's just because it's a black stabilizer mode whereas this isn't it's not on I'll put the black stabilizer mode on here you'll notice it straight away I'll put it in zero at the moment just so it's a fair comparison so black stabilizer on zero there as you can see I'm gonna pop it up you see everything goes grey probably about mmm so that level one there on the stabilizer is probably about 85% on that, I think. That's about fair, right? So yeah, that's 85, but I'll leave it 80, I think. 80, actually 70, that 80. Yeah, it's definitely 80% is about the same as that level one on that. But you've got another two levels still to go on this one. Hmm. And the colors are different on this one. Yeah. I don't know whether it's just because of the default. But you can, you know, calibrate any screen up. All right, one more last thing. I'm going to, video has gone about eight minutes now. So I'm going to put this on blur reduction mode. You're going to see a flicker. All right, let's put it on. That's how easy it is to put on. All right, you can see that little flickering in the background. That's blur reduction mode. Bear in mind, you do not notice that with your eyes. You only notice it through the camera. The camera will pick that lines up, all them lines going down. It will not pick that up. You will not pick that up with your eyes, only with a camera. And it does not affect you one bit. And that's at 240 hertz blur reduction mode. And everything looks crystal, mate. Crystal. Yeah. Thumbs up to whoever what you pick. It's so freaking good. It's so freaking good. It's so freaking good.